Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this distressed look tumbler. For those of you that watch my vlogs, I actually kind of made this a little bit in my vlog, and you guys were really interested in it, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and make this an actual tutorial today. I even had one of you guys help me out with the quote that I should put on it too, so thank you so very much, Mary, for helping me with that. As always, I'll make sure to put everything that I use today down in the description box below so that way you guys can shop these items if you would like to. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more tips, vlogs, tutorials, products, all kinds of stuff I have coming your way. So let's wake up, prep those tumblers, and slay all day. Let's do this. For this design today, I am starting out on a 20 ounce skinny tumbler that I purchased through the stainlessdepot.com, but you guys can obviously use any shape tumbler you already have on hand and would like to do for this project. And as you've seen, I've already prepped and primed my tumbler with a white spray paint. The glitter that's going to be our base is called Bubbly, and this is from my glitter shop, socglitters.com, but you can obviously use any type of glitter you already have in hand that is your favorite glitter that you would like to lay over or underneath this design. It doesn't matter. However you guys would like to do this is completely up to you. Now, I am using Illumilite's Amazing Quick Coat Epoxy to apply my glitters today, and I'm actually going to be showing you guys, I I've done this technique on my last tutorial as well, I'm just going to add my glitter directly into the epoxy since we're doing a full coverage tumbler, it goes by so much better <laughs> when I have to do this. I is so much quicker because I literally am able to start doing the second step to my process after this is cured. So I, I really enjoy doing it this way if I know I'm doing a full coverage tumbler. So as you watched, I literally just put my glitter right into my epoxy. I just filled it up until I thought it was full enough of my glitter to make sure that it was going to spread evenly around without leaving too many little gaps uh, in between. Because this glitter is part metallic, it's like a champagne metallic and part opal. So you just want to make sure that you kind of spread it around really well. So I did about three big glops of my epoxy right onto my tumbler and I just smooth it around really good until I knew it was spread evenly about and then I'm just going to simply put it on my turner and I'm going to make sure that I hit it up really good with my torch which I'll show you guys here in a second and it comes out smooth. I, I didn't have to add a second layer of epoxy over this or anything. I that's why I really enjoy doing this. Now for the rest of my epoxy, I'm actually going to put it into a coaster mold, but if you guys obviously are doing up a bunch of these uh, tumblers at one time, you just move on to your next tumbler with the rest of your mixture that you have. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, it's really simple to add an, a coaster that matches to your tumbler as well. So I wanted to kind of show you guys how I did a matching coaster as well, if you would like to. It, it's up to you guys. <laughs> As you just seen, I do like to tap my coasters a little bit to help get those bubbles out because bubbles will kind of be under there after moving it around and everything. So just tap it really good, place it on to wherever your flattest surface is so that way those bubbles can rise to the top. And as you see here, my tumbler is on my turner and I hit it up with my torch really good and it's going to have a beautiful, beautiful bubble free shine after it is cured. Now here is my coaster. I waited a second to make sure all those bubbles kind of rose to the back end there. And then I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to give it two light spritz and that's it. Those bubbles will pop and you'll have a nice smooth surface as well for that. Now I did that beginning part in the morning and this was the afternoon after I got the kids and everything. I came back home and it was ready for me to start applying my distress look to it. So it took a matter of six hours or so before I was able to touch it and move on to this next step. But as you guys can see, it's extremely smooth. I don't need to do anything to it. There are a few spots here and there, but you know what? That's only gonna add to the look of this distressed look once once we get going. You kind of use those little bumps to your advantage when you go to do this. So I'm not even worried about any little spots. But if yours is very, very bumpy and you need to sand it down, make sure you give it one little thin coat of epoxy over top to kind of smooth everything out once more before you move on to the painting process. 
Now my coaster does have a little bit of flashing on the back side, so I'm just going to take a very sharp knife and kind of chip away any little flashing that might be on the back so that way it doesn't have any jagged edges. You could even take a piece of sandpaper and sand it a little bit as well. That's not going to hurt anything. And of course, in between every single coat of epoxy, I come through and trim the rim because that's what you want to do. It just makes it a lot easier for the end process. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that up and then we're going to move outside for the second step. Now for the fun part, what makes this tumbler the way it looks. We're gonna move on to painting. This first step, I'm gonna use just a basic black. It doesn't have to be gloss. I just happen to have gloss on hand. Whatever kind of black you guys have, it really doesn't matter, guys, okay? <laughs> just saying. You just wanna go ahead and give it one good coat of your black here. It doesn't have, if, if, if it seems like it's not fully covered, it's okay, it, it doesn't matter. You just, you just wanna kinda give it a light coating. You wanna make sure you do your coaster as well each step of the way because you want it to look the same as your tumbler. So you're gonna let that dry. Now my environment's a little bit different than everybody else's. I, it's a little bit hotter here. So I waited about five, 10 minutes and I'm gonna move on to this next color. And I'm just gonna be using this gold it's just a metallic gold color again you can use any type of metallic gold you have on hand or from anybody else it doesn't matter i'm going to go ahead and put the uh, coat of that right over top of my black i'm going to let that sit another five ten minutes and then i'm going to finish it up with my gloss spray paint or my gloss white here or white whatever white you guys have on hand again what it doesn't matter flat satin gloss i don't know what <laughs> Just you want to paint it white uh, on this last part here. So again, I'm going to make sure that I do the coaster and the tumbler. Then I'm actually going to let this sit for about an hour. I want to make sure that it's nice and dry so it's not tacky once I go to handle it to do this next step. So I'm going to let that dry for about an hour. And this is how it looks now. Now I'm going to be using 100% acetone that I just purchased through the dollar store. And I actually just reuse this little container over and over again. I actually buy the Onyx brand 100% acetone from Walmart, which works really well as well. And I just fill it up with that because I like the container. And I'm also gonna be using my rubbing alcohol for this next process here. And of course I have paper towels as well. I have a whole roll sitting there as you can see. For one tumbler, um, I buy the little half, the ones where you can do a half sheet of the paper here I probably used about five of, of those little pieces of paper towels so I'm, I'm just letting you guys know you kind of go through the paper towels for this <laughs> so the first step you want to do is you just want to get it real wrapped up good and in, in your finger there because that's what I like to do because I like to do these little up and down motions just kind of get a stencil going like where I want my outlines to be. So I take a little bit of my acetone and I just start rubbing away here and there. And then I kind of go from there and just figure out how I want this to look. So I'm gonna do some on the top, I'm gonna do some on the bottom, and I just rub all the way through until I get down to the glitter portion. And I wanna tell you guys that this part is a bit messy. It really is. It's gonna look a little smudgy and, and weird at first, but this is one of those trust the process things where you just gotta keep going and working with it, and then you'll finally get that look that you are after. So I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around my tumbler. And of course, you don't wanna forget about your bottom as well, which I will show you guys here in a second. You just kinda of wanna make sure that it kinda of forms all the way around, kinda of matches up with what you're doing so far. So here's what I have so far. As you see, I just kind of distressed it just a little bit. Some parts I went all the way to the glitter, some parts I just went to where the gold was, and some parts I went down to where the black was. So as you guys get going, you'll see, you'll, you'll see what, what happens there whenever, whenever you start rubbing and how much paint gets taken away when you use the acetone versus your rubbing alcohol. So again, I'm just going to come back through and now I want to connect some of these lines together. I want it to be more visible because you know, you, you want that glitter to kind of come through. That's, that's the whole thing we like about it, right? So we're just gonna kind of connect some of these through. And as you guys can see, I'm still continuing with that up and down motion and making sure that I, I continue with that so that way it all kind of blends together. And I'm not too worried about any of that black kind of rubbing up onto my white. I'm kind of keeping it contained. Um, 
but other than that I'm really not too worried about it because I, I kind of like that about it because once we go to do that acetone you guys will see how it kind of blends together so I'm not going to fuss about it too much again you just want to come through and get your your designs shaped out and figure out how you want your designs and then we can go from there from cleaning up all the little details around the edges now, obviously, if you plan on selling these in your shop, you want to make sure that you tell your customers that each one's going to be a little bit different because each one of these are a little bit different. Each one is a little bit more unique than the other. There, I mean, there's no way you can absolutely reproduce something, a picture that you had on there, but you can do your absolute best. But just make sure that if you are selling, that you tell your customers that each one is going to be unique in its own way. Now that I have my base done up kind of the way that I would like, I'm gonna come through and finish up the bottom just a little bit more. I wanted to add just a little bit more details. And then I'm gonna show you guys, I wanted to connect what I did on the bottom just a little bit more with on the, the main surface of my tumbler as well. So I'm gonna tilt it up and I kind of realized I wanted a little bit more there. So it seemed a little bit empty on the front side. So all you have to do is just rub it away and keep working at it and there you go. Again, I was working with my acetone that entire time. Now we're gonna move on to our rubbing alcohol. And our rubbing alcohol is what's going to clean up all those little edges. As you've seen, I spritzed a little bit of my rubbing alcohol right onto my clean paper towel. Each time I kind of go, I kind of rotate my paper towel as I go to make sure that everything gets cleaned up. Anything you see there is actually the gold kind of showing through. So there's really not too much black on this one. I'm cleaning it up the best that I can, but I actually made another one and I left more black than, than anything on my other one, which I'll show you guys here in a second. But as you see, there was a ton of black right there on the surface, but taking that, that rubbing alcohol and wiping my tumbler completely down with it, it really rubs away that black and just leaves the rest of your design open so that way you have that beautiful distressed look that you were after. Now in the process of cleaning up all that black, we left a little bit of a haze from our paint on our glitter and we don't want that. We want our glitter nice and sparkly. So we're gonna take our acetone one more time. We're gonna take a paper towel nice and tight in our finger so that way we have really good control over it. We're gonna give it a little dab of that acetone and we're just gonna come through and clean away any of that haze that might be over our glitter so that way it's nice and sparkly and shiny. And as I go, I just kind of make sure that I rotate that paper towel to keep it kind of clean so that way I can continue to wipe off any more of that haze that I need to. And it also helps out with the edges of our black as well. It kind of exposes a little bit more of that black around the edges too. Now that it is all clean, I will kind of show you guys the other tumbler that I did. I have it right here. But this one has a little bit more black to it than this one. As you see, I wiped a little bit more off than, than the other one. So it's all up to you guys. It's completely up to you. There is no right or wrong when it comes to doing art. And as you guys seen, there's a little bit of bumps there and I use it to my advantage. I just kind of swiped some of those bumps away to kind of expose a little bit more glitter. And I thought it gave it a little bit more character that way as well. Now we're gonna move on to our coaster and we're gonna do the same exact process as we did our tumblers. We're just gonna wipe some of that, just two stripes is what I did. I mean, it's up to you guys on the top, on the main top. But I just really got down into those edges and kind of cleaned it up really good. And I even made sure to come around to the sides as well because we're gonna be coating the entire thing in epoxy, which I'll show you guys here in a second before we put on our decals. So here it is all done up. I'm just finishing it up with my rubbing alcohol to make sure there's no haze over that glitter. And then it will be ready to move on to our epoxy. Now I went ahead and put a coat of epoxy on my tumblers. I have those on my turner and I made sure to hit it up really good with my torch. And now I'm gonna take my leftover epoxy that I have in my little cup over here and I'm just going to completely line the outside of my coaster. And I'm actually gonna do just a little bit on the inside as well because I still wanna add a decal to it so I don't wanna fill it up all the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that I coat the entire thing with epoxy so that way it's nice and sealed and it lasts a long time to come. And I just set mine on a sill mat after I'm done so that way I can peel it up off of it and trim off any excess after it's cured. But you guys can obviously do it however you would like. If you like to kind of 
raise yours up with some little cups or something so that way that epoxy kind of drips down you can do it that way as well but I just laid mine on a sill mat I let those cure overnight and I did end up trimming just a little bit off the back end of my coaster here not a big deal just like how we did earlier we just kind of trim it up and give it a little sand if it needs to then we're gonna go ahead and add our decals now like I said earlier I asked on my vlog if anybody you know what should I put on it and I, I happened to ask uh, Miss Mary and she told me what she thought I should put on it and I thought it went so well with this tumbler. True beauty comes from within. I really thought it really went with this distressed look on the outside. Now after I get my decals applied, I'm gonna go ahead and give my two tumblers two last finishing coats of epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my coaster. The rest of the way, you wanna leave a little bit of a lip so that way it's still a coaster with epoxy and they are good to go. Whether you take this design and duplicate it as is, or you take it and let it inspire you to create something that is completely your own, I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this tutorial today. Again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.